Hi guys, it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So we are almost to the end of autumn, so I wanted to share with you guys my autumn favourites. So let's go! So I'm going to start off with some makeup and skincare, just a few things that I've been using or loving for the past couple of months. Um, I haven't really been shopping or trying out new things. I found myself going into cosmetic stores trying to find new things to try, but it wasn't as enjoyable anymore. I think um, I have a lot of products at home at the moment that I don't really use, and I just feel kind of clustered and... I just really needed to declutter and detox that out of my life. But these are a few products that I have been gifted from friends that I've been loving and using as well. So the first couple of products um, I got gifted from my friend Zen for my birthday. And it just it's really simple but really elegant. And then these are these um, Chanel beauty products. So for my birthday, she got me um, a lip balm as well as another lip balm in kind of like a lipstick kind of um, tube which looks really pretty as well as a compact mirror which I mine was actually breaking so thank god I got a new one as well and I absolutely love it what I love about these is that they look luxurious but they're just very simple and easy to use that you can use any day as well um, so I absolutely love these and these are like perfect sizes to like carry around with you so the next favourite is an eyeliner that my friend got me when she went overseas and this, I'm not sure what this is, whether it's a collection or brand name called Heroin Make. Um, I believe this is a Korean or a Japanese. I'm not 100% sure but I'll leave the details below. Um, but it's a really nice simple black liquid eyeliner and like a pen one and what I really love about it is that it's really nice and black and it's quite affordable as well. So my favourite eyeliner is the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I find that to be the blackest black and it stays on quite well but it does cost $28 in Australia um, which is okay but this I believe is slightly cheaper um, and it comes out exactly the same and what I find with this as well especially when you've got like hood eyes like me is that when you apply it it kind of dries quite firmly so it kind of if you apply it correctly it kind of keeps your eyes kind of open and look a bit brighter so I love this so my next favorite is a lip liner which I'm not sure whether I've mentioned this previously but this is something that I've fallen in love with again and it's the MAC lip liner in Whirl um, I love using the NYX natural lip liner um, I find that the closest to my lip colour, however, it is kind of like a really classic kind of lip liner. This one I find more creamier, easy to apply. It doesn't kind of make your lips feel dry and you get a decent amount of product as well. I've used this so many times and it's still quite a lot. I actually lost this and repurchased it. So I think that's probably why it still like, looks like it's a lot. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really nice, it's something, sometimes you just want something a little bit darker than your natural lip colour and I think this is perfect. So for skincare, what I've been loving is this balm by Benilico. I mentioned this in my Korean beauty haul. And this is the Clean It Zero um, Balm. And I absolutely love this. I know there's a bit of mixed reviews on this. Um, but I love it. I find it so easy to take the makeup off using it. And I don't know if you can see, but it kind of looks like this. Um, what I normally do, this is great when you've got like a full face of makeup. So what I do is I just... Use, what I I love is that that all Korean products come with like little spatulas so what I do is just put a few on my face and then really rub it in um, to get ready get rid of the makeup and then what I do is use like a cotton pad to remove any excess product before I go through with a cleanser but this pretty much gets everything off like from black eyeliners actually I can probably use this to show you guys how good this product is well I think it's good so I've just put a little bit of product on and I'm just going to rub it through. Now this eyeliner is a really great eyeliner because it's waterproof, smudge proof. Um, so I just put a little bit of product on. And it did take a little bit longer to remove. But as you can see, it's pretty much like wiped off. And I've only used the balm. And then I just take a cotton pad to remove the excess balm off before I go ahead and um, cleanse it. But look how clean that looks. Um, I find it, it works really well with like eyelash glue and things like that as well. Um, I find this a lot more better than using my cellar water. Um, sometimes if I have a lot of makeup on then I will sometimes go through with like an oil based makeup eye remover but usually this works perfectly um, if you wear a lot of dark like eyeliner and stuff you do kind of kind of spread it and your whole face goes black um, but like I said use a cotton pad to just get rid of it before you cleanse and it works like a charm 
Now next I have a few favourite nail polishes that I've been loving. I went through this obsessive stage a few years ago when I was obsessed about nail polish and bought like a ton of them. Um, which over the years, especially in the past year or two, I've kind of just haven't worn it. Because you know when you just get lazy and you just can't bother doing your nails because they chip so easily. And plus I don't have the greatest looking nails. Um, but this month start of uh start of the season i got my nails done for my friend's wedding because i thought you know why not treat yourself and get it done um but then i realized after i got it done why it annoyed me and why i don't want to get it done i don't like getting it done it's because i can't really get a good scratch out of them and I hate, hate it when it starts to grow and it starts to break because it makes your nails feel really fragile. So I decided not to continue and get refills, but what I was left with was a whole lot of really thin, flaky nails. So what I love is are these kind of sand textured nail polishes. I think every time I get my nails done it's kind of overgrown or I take it off. I always use these because they kind of hide that uneven texture uh, and just to let it grow a bit. So my favourite are these um, China Glaze ones. Now these are, I guess, old products. I'm not sure whether they still sell them. But if you find them, I mean, they're really great, in my opinion, if, you know, you're in between or just getting off false uh, false nails. Um, I've got two here that I've tried and I've been using. So the first one is the China Glaze Texture one. And this one is in itty bitty gritty which i absolutely love it's a nice bright color um i think it's still okay um for autumn and it's kind of bright and something fun i've got like a couple of other bright colors and i've also because now that we're heading towards winter I've gone a little bit darker and i've got this opi um one i believe this is the mariah carey collection and this is in what wizardry is this i'm not sure where this is Mariah Carey or whether it's just a normal one. I'm not sure but I got this a while ago as well um, which I think the colour is quite nice as well. There are a big difference though between these. Um, it's kind of like a nice grainy kind of texture. I love this one, the China Glaze, because it's more kind of grainy. This one's a little bit more smooth. Like you can just kind of feel like a matte kind of finish. Um, but they're great especially when you have those like chipped um, lines after you you take your nail pull like the nail the gel or acrylic nails off so i love these so that was all my pretty much makeup and skincare that i've been using a lot more than usual compared to other products um i found myself end of summer and autumn like really being actually it started during summer i just suddenly got really sucked into netflix and watched a whole bunch of netflix i think i mentioned this previously like i was watching a whole lot of like korean or japanese series i watched a couple of shows i went back and watched um a few like the whole series of like vampire diaries originals teen wolf um the outlander and um, a whole lot of TV series. I've been really addicted to Netflix lately, which means that I've been spending a lot of time at home. And I've also been binging in online shopping uh, more for like emotional therapy than anything. So while I've been at home, I am so sad that I ran out of these. So I'm definitely going to stock up on these. But I've been loving these um, candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. I love like the whole fresh kind of fruity um, natural smell. So I bought these mid last year I think when I went to Sydney these are from Bath and Body Works which they have a store now in Chadston if you're in Melbourne so you don't have to go all the way to Sydney for them um, but Cam loves these as well and they've lasted quite a while um, and they make your house smell really nice and fruity and refreshing so my favourite are these watermelon and lemonade um, three wick candles and I kind of break it up and light these together just to kind of infuse it and the other one is the eucalyptus mint and rain so I'm so sad that these i think these are down to the bottom where i can't use these anymore so i'm just about to chuck these out um and go and purchase some more now this season is going to be a random favorites because i was pretty much just all over the place uh, more like home spending a lot of time at home and if you love 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 your pet like one of your family and you're considering getting a camera to keep an eye on it like when i first before i got coco and i heard people doing that i thought oh my god like really people will do that and 
I have to admit, I'm a hypocrite because I end up getting a camera to keep an eye out on Coco, whether I'm out or at work or even just in the next room, pretty much. And he's gone off. Um, but I did purchase a camera through um, around Christmas to, for Coco, and I just absolutely love it. So my girlfriend recommended it to me, and it's the Yi Home camera. This is like a Chinese brand, I believe. Um, I have to give her credits. So credits to Mel for. Um, doing the research and finding it. So I always thought that they're quite expensive. Um, I haven't really looked into it, but my, fr my friend Mel did when she got one for her um, bunny. So I thought I would... So I did a little research and it was quite reasonable. Like I purchased this from um, geekbuying.com and it didn't cost a lot. I think after a currency exchange and stuff, it only costs like $180. I think the price goes up and down depending on if there's a sale. But the quality of it is so clear. Um, it's got motion sensors. You can put an SD card in and do like a playback. And it's really easy to use as well. Now, I don't know about other brands. I know you can get like local, like um, you can buy from like local retails like JB and stuff like that like other different brands um but this is just i find it quite affordable and it's just really easy to use so after christmas i ended up finding myself online a lot looking at those like chinese kind of websites giving like gadgets or like cheap kind of stuff that were useless but useful at the same time if you know what i mean and during autumn the past couple of months i have been binging and obsessed over wish.com and um, wish.com is one of those sites where everything is like so affordable it's like so cheap um because it's from china it just takes forever to delete uh, to deliver and these are one of those sites where you need to make sure you go in and buy stuff with no expectations like Everything is so cheap, but do not expect anything. And I have bought a ton of stuff. I think I've bought about over 20 or 30 stuff through there already. And I have had some hits and misses. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites. The first one is this top that I'm wearing. This is like a alter, like a off shoulder top with um, a strap on it. And I absolutely love this. Like, this only cost me like seven or eight dollars or something like that. And it fits perfectly. Um, with these websites, you just have to keep mindful with having no expectations. So don't expect quality. Um, if you buy clothes, because most of the clothes are quite small because they're an Asian size. So someone like me will find it difficult getting like a larger size. So I always get the largest one possible. Um, but this one fits perfectly. Um, the time it takes, so sometimes it takes like four or three weeks. Sometimes it takes four weeks. I haven't had any problems with delivery. Sometimes it comes in two weeks, which is good. I've only had one that I've just contacted because I still haven't received it yet. But other than that, like if you don't have expectations... Um, in regards to quality or time frame then I think it's a really affordable good site so this is one of my favorites that I've purchased and this is something that I won't necessarily wear um, all the time or make it out of fashion so I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on it um, this will probably last for like a season or two so I'm not fussed um, with the cost and then I also bought this which is a back scratcher and it is freaking awesome I love these back scratchers like I could probably get this like at um one of those like two dollar shops but oh my god it feels so good but i'm so glad i got this and it only cost me like four dollars or something like that and a few other successes that i purchased so i bought a whole lot of stuff and there was definitely a lot of um misses um there were some that are okay um that i would probably wear but not something that i love 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 but these ones are probably my favorite so the next one i got is this top um this one is a cold shoulder top that i got um and it was pretty much like what i love about this that it was perfect like i said the sizing is quite small so always get like a size or two bigger than what you are and read the um make sure you read the reviews to see what other people have said and it's quite good because it tells you whether the size is too small too large or just right um so that's kind of like a slight indicator of what you'll get um but this one i thought would be more knitted or slightly thicker which is kind of like more of like a exercise material which is fine because i can just wear it as like a normal shirt with jeans um and it's nice and long as well which is nice and another one of my favorites i got is this sweat jumper um and it says nat queen Yay. now this one i got like the largest one because i heard a lot of people say it was quite small so i got this large and when i got it i actually expected to this 
to be a little bit more thicker, like more of a jumper. This is kind of like more of a t-shirt cotton on or polyester kind of material. So it's quite thin, but it's okay because I do get it quite big. It's kind of like slouchy. Um, so it just gives me more room and I can wear this in summer and spring as well. So since we're on the topic of clothes, there are a few other items that I wanted to mention. I somehow have been obsessed with off-shoulder tops, um, which I've been umming and ahhing over the past few years, not knowing whether it will suit me or not. But this season, I don't know, there just seems to be a lot more um, types that fit me or aren't that bad. So I've noticed I bought a whole lot of like off-shoulder stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So this is like an off-shoulder dress that I got from Zara and this was on the sale item and I've been into gingham that gingham print a lot as well so I got this one and I also got this one from Dotty which was also selling this is like ten dollars um which I've worn I've worn these in like previous videos as well but I bought this not long ago and yeah I think it looks really really nice I don't know why I'm obsessed with this print lately as well like to me it's more of a spring print but I don't know whatever works and then I also had a few coop like uh, vouchers and stuff so I bought this one from Maya which I haven't worn yet but I like it that it's a basic white and I actually bought this one which I mentioned during Christmas I bought from Big W um, but it's a little bit big and I think after I wash it, it may have shrunk a bit, so it's a little bit shorter. So I thought I'll get this since I had a voucher, which is a little bit longer and longer sleeve um, to go with that. And I've also been loving, since we're going into winter, jumpers as well. So I brought this one, which is like an off-shoulder top, um, from my favourite store, Suzanne. So this was on sale, which is nice because it's quite long as well, and it's... It's nice and warm, but it's quite thin, so that's always good. It just Sometimes when I wear big knits, it just makes me look a little bit bigger. So this is really nice, and it feels really nice. So yeah, those are all the stuff that I've been kind of loving or using during autumn. Um, there's some random stuff here and there, which I don't know, I kind of like watching those favourite videos where, you know, people may use things or try things that you don't necessarily do. So it kind of encourages you to try or just gives you a little bit of review for them as well. Um, let me know what your favourites are, whether you're in autumn or spring. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.